So as you can see, um, I was anxious to get this thing going and uh, it's not drafting properly up the, oh there goes the paint. This is one of the reasons why I'm burning it now um, just with, uh, with weeds and stuff, stuff that you don't really make biochar out of, um, is to get all this paint off and uh, give it a first burn so that any chemicals or anything that were in the barrel at the first time get, get burnt off. As you can see there's a lot of smoke, there's not supposed to be so much smoke because it's uh, supposed to draft directly up the chimney, um, but the smoke might actually be coming just from the paint. Anyway, um, yeah, I was anxious to get this thing started and uh, that these holes around the chimney flue here should be filled in with mud and uh, <laughs> I forgot. So I think actually the smoke is coming off the paint that's coming off the uh, that's just uh, burning and falling off the the barrel. Um, as you can see there is no smoke coming out the chimney. Um, so maybe it's not doing that bad after all. But uh, all I have to do is get some mud and, and and put it around the chimney to to make that airtight and then uh, it should burn properly. So yeah I just wanted to give it an initial burn to get any of the chemicals and paint and everything else off the barrel. So I'm just going to let it burn out. Okay, so now, well, as you can see, I've changed the chimney. <laughs> it's the Jippo chimney. With the rest of the barrel that I cut off to make the top bit, I decided to uh, make a chimney, chimney, and I thought, well, how long can it take? Famous last words. So it's taken me two hours to make that piece of shit. Um, just to see if it was the bigger, the, the small chimney that uh, was the problem. So um, you can see it's drafting properly now. There's no smoke at the top. The smoke you can see coming off the chimney is actually the smoke from the paint burning. You can see it better on this side. So and now you see no smoke. Yeah. No smoke coming out the chimney and you can see the flames in here. Yeah, so I've changed the uh, the fuel as well. Yeah, I've put uh, a load of pallet wood in there. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But I think that's a lot better. I just needed a bigger a bigger chimney so that it could draft properly. So uh, my Jippo chimney is working for the moment. I'll probably get a piece of flue pipe. This is just stuck on, stuck all together with cob, which is uh, mud and straw. Um, and that's all it's held on with. So hopefully. It uh, won't blow away <laughs> whilst it's on fire. Okay, so now you can see this thing burning properly. There were flames coming out the chimney a second ago. The wind picked up. Still quite a lot of smoke. I've, it's probably got something to do with my crappy chimney, but I'm going to fix that. So, yeah, there you go. Here you can see the almond shells. It's just crushed almond shell. I got it for 12, 12 cents a kilo. So I filled up the back of my car with these sacks and uh, it's taken about three sacks. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I've left a bit of space to put some some stuff in here, some, uh, some kindling and stuff to, um, yeah, to start up the fire.
here you can see the clean burn really well. There's uh, the flames. Oh, yeah, you can't actually see them all that well. Maybe you can, uh, you can pick them up there. And then no smoke, but you can see all the heat coming out of the chimney. And you can actually see the heat coming off the side of the barrel. There you can see the burn line, you see the difference in colour. But the barrel is, is uh, it changes colour as the um, almond shells go burning on the way down. This is the end product. So this is uh, biochar, it still has to go through a few different processes to, to, um, to use it. But um, this is essentially what you get. Here you can see the almond shell before it was burnt. And here you can see the almond shell that's been completely turned into, into coal, into char. So this, I'll pass it through a screen, um, one to five millimeter screen, so that it all um, goes to a, a homogeneous size. Um, and then I use it in my water filter to filter my water. This will absorb any toxins that are in the water and, and in theory make it completely safe. I'll put an update up once we've had the water tested, but in theory this, sh with the sand filter and the biochar filter, it should make our polluted water uh, safe for drinking.